My name is Brad Park, and this field day stop for the 2020 Rutgers Turf Grass visual virtual field days for, for, for 2020 is the 2017 National Turf Grass Evaluation Program Kentucky Bluegrass Test. This particular test was seeded in September of 2017. Here we are in August of 2020, so we are in the third full growing season of this of this trial. All of our turf variety trials that we perform here at Rutgers, we try to seed them in late August through through September, and this trial was no was no different. The seeding rate, again, this is the Kentucky Bluegrass test, was at 2.2 pounds of seed per thousand square feet. Here in 2020, the trial has been fertilized with 2.2 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet over four applications. And those, those applications began in the latter part of March and then most recently in about the second week in, in August. What's unique about this trial and what makes a difference from some of the other variety trials that, that, that we have here at the university is that this is a traffic tolerance trial. That's one of our primary objectives, to evaluate the traffic tolerance of individual entries over time. And we use a combination of two machines to apply traffic stresses to these plots. One is the, what we abbreviate as the RWS, that's the Rutgers Wear Simulator. The Rutgers Wear Simulator is a paddling machine. It causes abrasion and it does a very good job thinning out the turf canopy, reducing turf density in a very rapid, uniform fashion. The other tool we use is the KD Traffic Simulator, abbreviated CTS. This is a tool that was developed out of Michigan State University, and it's a core cultivation unit. The coring times have been removed and replaced with feet that are equipped with cleats, and those cleats cause a compact, cause compaction stresses, and they also cause some shearing stresses, and they're meant to impart stresses that a you know, an athlete in a, in a sport like soccer or football would impart. Again, the trial was established, it was seeded in 2017. We waited, waited approximately one year before we initiated traffic. Our first traffic period was in fall 2018. We followed that traffic period with a traffic period in summer 2019. Fall 2019 in our most recent traffic period ended three weeks ago all right, as part of a summer 2020 traffic period. Again, using a combination of the Rutgers Wear Simulator and the KD Traffic Simulator. So let's take a look at some of our, some of our results. So my intention is really to just talk about several entries, several entries that I, I think do a nice job illustrating differences of traffic tolerance and uh, some other stresses that we've been observing in the trial. This particular plot does a nice job illustrating how we are applying traffic stress. This is a eight foot by six foot plot. One half of the plot does not receive traffic. This half of the plot receives traffic again, both in the form of the Rutgers machine and the Katy machine. And those traffic machines are applied in a strip across this entire one half section of the plot. And this particular entry, obviously you can see the impact of traffic on, on this entry. Again, traffic and no traffic. Quite a bit of canopy decline and cover loss as a result of traffic. This particular entry, this is midnight. Midnight is a standard entry in the 2017 National Turf Grass Evaluation Program, Kentucky Bluegrass Test. This entry's been around for, for, for quite a few years. 
Recall we're about three weeks past traffic, the, 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 the termination of traffic. So we, we are seeing some recovery in this plot, but you can see that at midnight, much better uh, turf cover in the traffic section of the plot compared to the previous entry we looked at. And the level of recovery that we are observing, the no traffic is beginning to catch up with, I'm sorry, the traffic portion of the plot is beginning to catch up with the no traffic portion of the plot. So, you know, this is an entry that we would be interested in for, for traffic tolerance because of, of its performance. One last entry that I want to look at is an experimental. And you can see both in the no traffic portion of the plot, as well as the traffic portion of the plot, very, very poor, very, very poor turf cover. This particular entry is a poor performing entry during the summer months. And whenever you apply wear and traffic stresses over the top of a poor summer performing entry, you know, the results are, are, are not very good. So when it comes to selecting bluegrasses, it is somewhat of a complicated, complicated subject. I mean, not only is traffic tolerance important, but also looking at overall turf quality, disease susceptibility uh, are, are important as well because uh, obviously not very traffic tolerant, but not very turf, not, not good turf quality in the, in the absence of traffic. And it's these different factors that uh, we're, we're exerting a lot of time and energy to, uh, to try to identify these and ultimately provide recommendations to, to the end user.